Hello everyone, my name is Sawyer Lemming and welcome back to episode 5 of Goddess. Um, in today's episode, we will be tackling on a couple of the Mantidic Gods quests and expanding out our village quite a bit. Um, before we get up to this card up here, I just want to show what I did. I got all the treasure chests that I could find, which I'm pretty sure is all that were available. And I flattened out the area so we can expand quite a chunk now, so that's, that's really helpful. Um, this card, I hit 400 population um, just by my houses getting people in them, so let's see how that went. We can now open up calendar. So it allowed, um, it opens up the day night cycle, which is pretty cool. So we shall try and do that as quickly as possible. Oh, we've already unlocked the four candles we need, that's good. Oh, and the kindling. How about the animal furs? Oh, we have done it! Well, there you go. So we've unlocked the day-night cycle. Uh, let's see what the card says. Well, thank you. Now that your followers understand time, they will form routines with different times of day and night. Isn't that helpful? So, Sumerian calendar, 2000 BC, based on 12 lunar months or 29 or 30 days. It's going to be the origin of today's Gregorian calendar. So you've got a lot of those Sumerians then, don't you? So we still need one... I don't know what that was now. Um, thing to do the mud lodges. In fact, we're just about to expand. So let's spend some of our gems and get that card that we need, if we can. Was it? It was pasta, wasn't it? I think it was pasta. Can we buy it? And if we close this now. There we go. So now we've unlocked mud brick lodges. So when we do the next level of expanding onto this area, we can get much nice houses, much bigger. So it generates more population and belief, which is fantastic. So let's close our book. And I think we shall start making people to make these mud brick houses on this new plateau. Let's just get everyone out, shall we? We've got enough belief to do it. Um, we've got our two settlements, oh, nope, which they are generating lots and lots and lots of belief for us, and our population is going to expand really rapidly now, with any luck. So I think that some of these people don't want to move up here, so let's put the totem down and get these people out as well, because we've got so much space. There's enough room for everyone. Oh no. There we go. And while they're building, I think that we shall do episode uh, mission four of the Mount of Gods event. See how far we can get. So we've got plenty of population now. Let's wait for all these people to get over here, then we'll deactivate the totem so that they can start building. And then we'll do the Mount of the Gods event, number four. So um, we have got lots of these little pedestals about. There's one there, there is one there, and there's one up here. Um, you want to uncover these because they will give you cards that allow you to expand more. So let's just try and... I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do there. So, um, and this one needs to be uncovered as well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, we'll just flatten this area out. Deactivate the totem, as I'm sure pretty much everyone's there by now. For a few people, unfortunately, can't find their way and die. It's not the end of the world. Because um, we've got so much belief and our population's quite high. So, look at that. We're expanding. We're going to be the greatest civilization known to goddess. So, in the interim, while we wait, let's do it. Um, event number four, five, four, four. I don't think it's four completed out of twenty, but it's not. It's number four out of twenty. Oh, we, there's Dan. Dan eighty four. Yeah, don't be so rude, Dan. Oh, uh, didn't I tell you? To fact, the battle, Amy. Well, they're they're gonna carry on talking. Her dad's back. Her dad doesn't let, like her playing on the computer or something. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Got a bit of a tickle in my throat. Um, so, yes, we are, I think we're going to be playing against 
B Pilmer here with her cat face. So let's give it a go. Um, again, let's just put it on max. We've got the we've got the population to do it. It's going to cost us thirty people, but we don't want to lose the battle. That would be even worse, wouldn't it? We've just massively expanded our population, so I don't think we've got to worry about it so much. So we've got this, this map's quite nice. You do get lots and lots of starting space, um, and there's quite a large mound here, and the enemies on the other side is fairly uniform. And again, the objective is just to go with killer. So we know the drill by now, don't we? We just as soon as we can make more people, we make more people, and we just try and give plenty of land for them to grow. <clears throat> now you can do a tactic here of minimising the land that's away from the enemy, so they build towards the enemy. Um, that can be quite helpful, but it can also be quite dangerous to do if you think your enemy might be able to outnumber you. It all depends on how quickly they've managed to get started. Uh, you can also move away to try and get into a more defensible location, but because anyone can uh, move the land about. It does become a lot more complicated than that. Yeah, with these early missions as well, you do start off with an awful lot of belief, so you don't have to worry about moving the land too much because you can very easily afford it. So, just get our population up a bit higher. Make sure there's a way up here for them. Well, that looks like it's plausible, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's send this one out a little more there. There we go. That should be fine. Let's say, as I carry on fiddling with it, let's just make more people. And we've got a castle here now. That's great. Get a ton more belief so we can afford to get it there quickly. I think what we're going to do actually is try and take this hill now. So let's. Put, put our totem up here, get some more belief and plenty more people out, and try and get them all up here to expand on top of the hill. So if we can take the hill, we've got a very good position to push down into her base then. As you can see, we can only build where our influence lets us. Well, I'll say that, and then they build where we don't have influence. Um, Oh no, no, we can build out anywhere. We can only sculpt where our influence lets us, that's the one. So, we've got to make sure we have houses which expand our influence over there. Okay. That's a poster falling off my wall. Um, so that we can get our population closer to a quicker. To be able uh, to get into a very aggressive position. Deactivate the totems to start building. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Activate the totem again. <laughs> Got lots and lots of castles up here. That's actually not what we want. We want um, small buildings so we get people. So actually, let's, let's start minimizing these pots a little. Try and get some ones and twos going. Let's activate the totem again. And just get our people back over there. Well, we're nearly ready to start pushing into her soon, I think. Start making a wish that she hadn't picked a fight with the great surreal. Things, surreal lights, surreal, whatever, whatever we call ourselves, I can't remember. Right, okay, so we've got lots of people. Let's just hurry these guys up a bit. Right, not, not staying on top of this is enough, but we can get that. We've got lots and lots of people. You know what? I think we've got enough. Let's just. 
Oh, we don't have a way down, do we? Oh, no, we do have one nice way down by here, so that's good. We could also make life easier for our little guys. We'll try and make a way around the shore here. It's not particularly necessary, but it might help us get a, a bit further, a bit quicker. So we do have our influence over here now. Okay, let's get some more people out. And just keep attacking them, keep assaulting them. We will become the greatest superpower the world has ever known in no time. Here are guys. I'm getting destroyed by here for some reason. Let's just move all our people over here to try and get rid of her people. I think we are winning quite happily. It does take a while for our people to get over there. Maybe we should get a statue of speed on top of the mountain. We can nearly afford it, can't we? So, yeah, let's do that. And if we scroll down, Statue of Speed. Oh, at this point, you can also build settlements in this, and it costs a little less. So, it does make it very interesting at the late game. Um, so, we're nearly done. Okay, I'm just waiting for this next wave of reinforcements to get over there and we can start really just destroying her okay doing decently well now all these people just running past each other. I think so. My people are generally winning, which is good. Let's get all my people down there. Thanks to the statue of speed, they can get down there really, really speedily. And deactivate the totem. It is taking a while to destroy her base, isn't it? So. Get some more people out. And let's just try and kill her. I think we're nearly there now, though. We are destroying plenty of buildings, it sounds like. And. Put the switch over there and activate it again. And get some more belief and get a statue of speed down here. Oh, can't come afford it. There we go. Why do I keep losing money? There we go. Where's all my people? There they are. Why are you taking so long to get over there? Come on, people. Is there not a way to get down there anymore? Yes, there is. There's a massive way down here. Oh, right, okay. Move the totem a bit closer. A bit further away, even, because they, they can just about get it from the slope there, it seems like. I think we are just about done, hopefully. So our statue of speed here, helping things along massively. Um, let's just deactivate the totem and then hopefully all these people just finish you off. And, and we are all good. And we have defeated B Pilmer. Ha ha ha. 
You and your stupid cat face shall never survive past the insurrection. Would you guys mind just destroying that, please? It's one single house, thank you. So where's the last guy then? Where is it? Oh, there we go. We won! So we've got some more cards, which is always good. And there we go. So we got the multiplayer opponent god card. My opponent, humbled by the question of victory, has decided to come and set up my home world. Fantastic. Um, so we've got some more belief as well. And some timber. And last but not least, some meat. Glorious meat. As you can see here, we now have built P Pilmer. Oh, that's not what I wanted. In our town, which is good. And look at this. They've all started to build and they're doing quite well with it as well. So they get some of these people out to expand a bit further outwards. And get our belief as well. Starting to get into a lot of belief here. Which is a very good thing. Starting to stockpile it a little. So we can actually get a statue of speed now. I think I will. I'm going to put it by here. Oh, sorry about that. Not, not my headset a little there. Um, so we're still trying to expand outwards and get to these little shrine things. Got the statue of speed up and running now, so people move faster, which is never a bad thing. And I think, um, well, we'll get out a couple more people, and then we'll um, do the next shrine. and see how far we can get. So let's get a few more people out. Hopefully we'll hit 500 population very soon. So I think I'm actually going to put another statue of speed right here. Just to get all my people up further. Well, right next to 500, so we'll wait for 500 before we do the next event. Did we just get something? Not sure. Oh, we have hit 500 population, so what is this card? This card is the family card. This is increase, increase the effect of this is increased birth weight in all boats. That's great. Um, there you go. So, Modern nuclear families, so they will start to have more um, of a family construct in the household. That's good. Oh, we've got all the felt. We know we've got the meat. Have we got the candle though? We have. Fantastic. So now, um, our all our houses will generate population faster. Oh, we, in fact, we've advanced to the. Uh, conquest period. Ooh. At the start of the primitive age, the followers had moved um, from the wilderness and started to come together, delivering permanent abodes, waiting basic tools, forming simple communities, and expanding their population. The followers became even more advanced. Fantastic. So now, so we've done this uh, this age, not this, uh, this age. So now we've got some new commandments as well. Rocks, unattractive as they may be, must be respected if, as if by God. The holiest land to settle upon is that of deserts and shores. Trees must be respected and not reaped unthinkably. That's slightly different to what we had before, isn't it? Yes. So now, we no longer have the progress of civilization as sinful. We're now saying that rocks are cool, which is good. So, uh, in the, we've got the next one to do, which we will uh, undoubtedly get some cards for in the near future. So I think we can deactivate this totem now. They'll start building all those houses. Fantastic. As you can see, the houses are now these mud brick houses, whereas these ones were... What, what were they? They were five, pop, five population max, weren't they? Well, let's have a look at these ones. Three out of four. Whereas these ones are... Why won't they let me click on the big ones? Um, the small ones are two out of four. Oh. They're the same thing. I'm confused now. Oh, right, okay. No, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, so they're five out of six, where these are 
four out of five. So, and the bigger ones can now hold one extra person, which again, fitting more population in a smaller space is always a good thing. So, now in uh, mission five of Mount of the Gods, join the party, talking cards. <laughs> she is a bit rubbish, to be fair. You're all a bit rubbish. I can defeat all of you. So, ah, so we need to get the champion card according to Dan, who is telling Amy, but changes everything. Ah, so use champions to knock down house armor. There you go. So let's play a battle, shall we, against Amy again. Again, may as well take all our population with us. We're going to get a card, some gems, and a card. So let's get going. Lots and lots of annoying trees on this island. Let's just try and get rid of all of them. And it's very time consuming clicking all these trees. I wish it was a faster way of getting rid of the trees, but I'm sure as we get more civilization, we'll be able to. Now, the objective of this mission is slightly different to the last ones. We actually have to mine gems, more gems than the enemies. We just have to get followers into the center of the map and they will um, start to mine this orange stuff up here. You can also clear out the land to try and reveal more gems. And of course, um, the enemy can come and kill you and stop you from mining gems while they mine their own gems as well. And we can do the same. If you, if either player is wiped out though, they automatically lose. So you can play for the entire 10 minutes and get gems, which is what we're going to do now. Or you can just go all out attack and try and kill the enemy off. Which is a perfectly viable option. And to be honest, is generally a lot quicker. Let's just get our population going. We are already miles ahead because she's only got two people where we started off with 20. So we do have to clear up space pretty quickly in order to fit everyone in. But once we do, we're going to have a lot of people. So let's just keep clearing out these trees. And we will start expanding to the middle land very soon. We've already got more people than we've got spaces for by quite a margin now, so let's just try and get a car, put more spaces up here. I don't think we're gonna get any one there, so let's now start expanding to the middle islands. It's also outlying islands on this map, and that's where the opponent is over there. But we're going to concentrate on the middle, because we've got such an overwhelming force, we can easily hold it. Right, so let's activate our totem here. I can't get... Let's just place it there. Try and get some more population spaces by here, so we can get our influence into the centre. Also, start to mass make people just to mine gems really, really, really quickly. Unfortunately, you don't get the gems that you mine in this section, you just get some gems at the end. Otherwise, you could farm a lot of gems in this area very, very quickly. So, let's try and get some more spaces up here so we can get our sphere of influence right to the top. Um, come on. We'll see eight space here. Come on. Is it? I know there'll be a space I can fit by here. Oh, come on. There's more than enough room there. There we go. Oh no. She's already up there. Let's try and get up there as quickly as possible then. A lot of people were really starting to go and mine, which is good. And just start to make tons and tons and tons of gems very, very quickly with all these people. And if we move the totem onto the gems, people should go there and mine as soon as we let them out of here. I think we're going to have more than enough people after this just to mine huge amounts of gems very, very quickly and make it incredibly easy. So we're already on 19 gems and she's currently on zero. 
and all these people by here now. If I just deactivate the totem, we'll see how quickly we get gems in a very short period of time. Especially if we can get a couple of houses right by here as well. So we are going to lose some people, obviously. Especially if she comes to attacks us. Ooh, that's what she's going to. Quick to arms, my brothers. And unfortunately this little attack pose isn't going to do particularly well because I've just got such an overwhelming force. There we go. So now we're just going to keep mining. There we go. And we shouldn't have any trouble at all now um, in terms of winning. So you're already on 71 gems. I really wish that you would actually get to keep these gems. You can mine gems in the real world as well. And yes, these are the same gems with the currency for buying the cards. Um, but you have to get to a higher level before you can do so. So mining all of these really odd looking gems because it looks like you can see the another universe through them. Because the texture moves with the, with the camera, it's very strange. It's very strange indeed. But it's okay. We we are about to win, I believe. Wait, I just actually just go kill us. Shall I just go kill the guys? Yeah. Why not? I can't think of a good reason why not. Let's have the easily one with gems as well, which you can catch up. Even if she did just go all out gem production now. Come, come down to beat us up piecemeal. It's not going to work, sorry guys. And we are just about to win. Hooray. Let's put over there. Let's get people out. And. Shouldn't be long now before we win. Do it well within the 10 minutes. So let's just keep making people, just get them over there. To destroy all their things. Let's go pop back over. We can move the totem a bit further inwards so all our people start to move in further. Yeah, you do have to do this quite a bit if you want to be active in the battles and make sure that they are going in your favour at all times. And let's just move over there. Yeah, I've got so many people now. Look at this. Mind you, well, Lemmy is not enough. Just with all the Lemmy's going down when you put on super speed. We deactivate the totem now. They should just finish the job, hopefully. I think there's a house over there, isn't there? Yes. But very nearly done now. Well, actually, I've still got some people by here. Which could be a little bit of a problem. Not that worried about it though. Let's just finish off this last house. And then we shall jump up here to finish off all these people. There we go. And then move the totem by there. We shall go and destroy all the heathens that to worship B. Pilma. I am indeed the one true god of goddess. <laughs> Do I still have people coming? No, that's pretty much everyone. What I care about anyway. And we have won with 1 minute 22 seconds to spare. We won by last man standing, which is good. And so, remember, we've got some. Um, gems, which is good. I think it's five gems or so, maybe ten. It's not many gems. Some plaster, some sandstone, and the mining card, ah, which would allow us to um, gain the mining ability, which allows us to get ores. Um, using primitive tools like flint axes, they would find the materials required to create mortals. 
such as iron and copper, stuff like that. So we can start working towards that. We don't have any of the components for it as of yet, but I'm sure we'll get them in due time. So we really want them to start getting this little statue for us, but they don't seem to want to. For some reason. So is it like buried further? No, it's not buried. Um, I'm sure they'll get it soon. We also want them to expand up here, which they have done quite well. And put a totem up here. Let's just try and um, force them to get this one. Because so I've got a lot of spare people at the minute. And we also want to force, it, force them to expand up there. But I think for now, we will call that an episode, actually. So, um, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment with any sort of criticisms or um, opinions of the game. Um, I have been Surreal Lemming, and I am signing out.